Hey there and happy Thursday. So I'm excited to bring you card number three for Deb King's virtual stamp party. And I'm um, going back to some celebration items and uh, um, there's just so much to choose from because I feel like the new annual catalog just went live and now we have a new mini catalog with fall. And I know that um, my hostess Deb loves fall things and yet I wasn't sure if I was quite ready for like pumpkins and Halloween or even Christmas. Sometimes I do Christmas in July, but I thought, you know what? Celebration is so short-lived. It's a two-month um, promotion, so I'm going to go back to Celebration and get out some cute um, hippo uh, dies and stamps and work with that today. Hi there, Lois, and hi there, Sherry. So with that, um, uh, I just kind of like was putzing around and started using all sorts of different dies, like the traditional dies that should go with the hippos I'm using as well as some other things and then an embossing folder and just little pieces that make this come together and so um so I hope that this all makes sense. So I kind of feel like it's one of those, um, I put the kitchen sink in there. Hey there, Lisa. And um, yet I'm gonna walk you through it like I do every day and show you some really fantastic designer series paper that is kind of a hidden gem. So that's gonna be my treat today for you. So let me get my iPad um, here and that's running and then get my camera turned around for you so that you can see the card a little bit better. I'm using a lot of pool party and that's kind of a lighter um, greenish blue color and so um, I want to make sure and give you a good camera shot. Here let me get the lighting better um, just so that you can see it. I feel like when I show you it in the beginning it's kind of a lighter one um, but I'm going to show you where this pretty paper comes from and all of that as well. But I think those hippos are just so cute. If you look close, this one's winking behind those sunglasses. So the Hippest Hippo is free um, with a $50 order from Celebration as well as all the fun dyes. And there's a ton of dyes in here. So um, from Celebration, like I said, you can see the stamp set free with $50 order. The die is free with a $50 order. So each of the three cute hippos has its own die as well as all these cute accessories. So I've used all of these so far. Um... Yeah, quite a few um, and um, for you guys. And today I'm using the boat and then the cute hippo sunglasses there. Hi, Kay. Thanks for joining in. And then where this cute, cute paper comes from is the annual catalog. And it's a good thing to point out because there kind of is a uh, typo because in the annual catalog, anytime somebody hosts, and Deb is my current virtual hostess as well as Kay, she'll be closing up her party tomorrow. And I like to point this out because sometimes in the back, this is um, from the annual catalog page 179, there's these three stamp sets and um, I don't always touch on them, but um, the uh, like say for instance the garden grandeur it has a value of eighteen dollars but as a hostess um you can get it for ten fifty and same with these other stamp sets um it's like a discount just specifically for hostesses and some of you might go but I am not going to be a hostess that's just not what I'm ready for right now well some of you might not be ready for that but you're already placing orders that are 150 or more at a time. And that's when you can um, take these items that are highly valued but um, priced less for hostesses or people ordering over $150. So this great design of Dra Daydream uh, designer series paper pack, it's 12 by 12. It says that there's 12 sheets. There's really 48. That's a huge typo. So instead of 12 sheets of DSP, there is 48. And this is some fantastic stuff. And I love it when they do this for hostesses because I feel like the variety in here is really, really nice for all occasions. So the first thing that comes up when I kind of want to flip it like this are these like seagulls or like birds of the ocean. And here, look at that. It just like fits so well with today's little um, boat there. Hi, Jeannie. And then we've got different colors, different patterns. I'm just gonna kind of go through this really quick, but you'll get the gist of all the different colors of that together here. Um, even this kite paper, I'm like, oh, that would make a cute backdrop, almost like 
switch this out and um, make something cute with the hippo that way. You know me, I love stripes. I'm using this as the bottom piece. And then we've got this. I almost thought about using that today. That would be like fun birthday paper. And I just love like random dots. And here's some little squares within squares. Um, and here's some stripes and just really fun patterns and colors. How about this for a really fun, bold floral image? And then we've got some lighter things too that just have a varied pattern. I think this is gonna be so pretty to use um, just for a fun festive look and yet soft pink. Um, for the background of that and then just some floral images and just some like checked green images there so it's a big big pack 48 sheets is a lot that's why i don't want to take the time to get it all out but as i use it i will refer back to where it's coming from and i definitely wanted to show you that so these two pieces come from there and um, that's where that is all right so i think i've covered all that hi there linda and i should be ready and set to um, show you how to put it all together, right? Because that's why you're here. <laughs> okay, so with um, this, the base of this, I'm just going to, I think, work with that right away. I have all these tiny little scraps for the little pieces of die cuts. Um, but let's see, that's going to be for the inside. The card base starts with pool party, and I'm opening it this way um, for you guys today. So four and a quarter, five and a half score there. Um, and then I just took two sheets of that, um, like if you like to see it 12 by 12 from that uh, Daydream host exclusive paper. These are the two 12 by 12 sheets. So they both are considered pool party, even though you can see one has a little bit darker tone than the other, but they coordinate beautiful. And I love that they are a little bit color different because that's going to make a nice um, backdrop for this card. So I'm going to take my adhesive and start with um, actually the bottom one. So I've cut these four by three, both of them, and the four inches was the important number for me because I wanted to make sure that kind of gave us that half inch um, around the border look there. So I'm just gonna take and um, set that down in there to give us that pleasing to the eye quarter inch border. Hi there, Deb. My hostess Deb's joining in. I wasn't sure she'd get off work in time to see this. And I was running late today. I had surprise visitors, two cute little grandkids for a while today. So that was fun. So I ended up playing with them instead of prepping right away for my card. <laughs> um, but now that Deb's here, I feel really good about that. Um, so then this one is just going to lay on top of this. Um, one product that I kind of laid out um, to accessorize but I didn't use is the pool party sheer ribbon and you can see it's got that nice shiny sheer look to it and that um, I often like to have either some plain cardstock or ribbon to kind of break up that little border there but with this having um, so much of a focal point and this big piece of pool party embossed and going over top of that whoops I didn't feel like I needed to have that extra um, piece of pool party but that is an option where if this kind of bugs you to have that be so um, blunt going one pattern into the other that would be something that you could do so um, I laid that out but like I said I didn't use it and another reason I didn't know if um, if I tied it around and did a bow and uh, Deb or whoever's ordering from her party or whoever is receiving these cards um, if they wanted it to be more masculine I didn't want to keep adding like things that might make it look like foo-foo with ribbon <laughs> and so um, with the flower already there I don't think like that is going to make it to be non-masculine but if you combine that and some ribbon and stuff it might get a little bit more that way and I didn't want it to be. Um, so my next piece that I'm grabbing here is that same pool party color as the card base and this is cut 2.75 by 4 inches. Hey there Rachel, thanks for joining in and I'm going to bring over my cut in a boss machine and it, I'm going to use a 3D uh, folder so I just need um, that big chunky plate number one and then I'm going to layer this specialty plate number four over that. 
the um, embossing folder that I'm going to use is one of those skinnier versions. Hi there, Tammy. Um, it's the Stripes and Splattering 3D embossing folder. So like I said, with it being 3D, then I want the specialty plate. So I almost thought about using the stripes for kind of some maybe wave look or something like that. But then I'm like, oh, I kind of like the splash look because that's going to look like the boat's like splashing in the water or the hippos having fun in the water. So I decided to go with a splash look and oops, I'm just going to feed that piece in here like so and then run that through like this. And then we're just going to kind of set this piece aside for now. But like I said, I love the 3D folders because you can see the nice deep grooves that you get into that um, with it being 3D. Hey there, Renee. I had such a fun time with you this week. Loved it. Um, so I'm going to set that aside and this aside. And then next what I'm going to do is take my strip of paper here, just a basic white strip, no need to measure because all I'm going to do is stamp out the cute, cute hippo holding that flower there. Thank you, Kay. And I'm just going to ink that up with my Memento Tuxedo um, because we're going to do some coloring. And so this is the best um, ink pad to use for coloring. Looks like I have a fuzz on there. I just want to make sure I wipe that off. So when I go to use it, for my sentiment, it's not on there and um, makes that not work so well. So we've got him and I always um, want to cut before I color for that rare chance that I don't line things up as I'm um, running it through. And it's a lot easier to cut, stamp and cut a second hippo when I haven't already um, colored it in. Then I don't feel like I've wasted time coloring too and then I'm just wasting like a little scrap of paper here. So like I said these coordinating dies are one of the free celebration things that's wonderful. So we're just gonna go with this for now but I'm gonna do a bunch of little die cutting here in a second. Um, so I'm gonna put that die aside because I'm done with it and my coloring friend Pam loves it when I take my camera and get just a skosh uh, closer when I do this part of it so that she feels like she can see everything I'm doing. So to color in this cute hippo, it goes really fast. I'm going to take a light and dark crumb cake starting with the dark and then I'll just kind of color in and frame around the face here with the dark crumb cake. And I think it colors in really fast. I'm just going to kind of go over the winking eye there and just leave a little bit of a spot uh, to come back with the lighter crumb cake. Then I'm just going to frame this cute little mug here. Um, mug meaning face. Um, and just kind of go around that with the darker and up around the flower. But I'm not going to uh, um, worry too much about exactly going totally around the flower. So when I come back with the light, that's going to fill in with the light crumb cake. So I'll go in here and kind of go over the cute little hippo toenails and go on up through there and then just kind of go around everything that the Stampin' Up! artist has sketched out for the hippo body. Um, so that all the rest of that area now can just be filled in with the lighter crumb cake. And so I'll set that aside and come right back with the light crumb cake right away. So I'll fill in that little light spot by the winking eye. And then I'm going to go over the rest of it. So just kind of going up to that flower and kind of trying to grab these edges that I've went over with the dark crumb cake to kind of blend those a little bit more too and fill in that bottom part of the tummy as I catch that and just go around the flower that goes together really easy if I would happen to go in the flower the colors I'm using will probably just um, make that not an issue because it'll color that in 
over top. So we've got that with just a couple colors. I think this hippo comes together so cute with our blends. Um, and then I just chose a green. Um, you can kind of pick a favorite green of yours. I chose dark granny apple green for that one tiny little uh, leaf there. And on this one, I didn't color the stem. I'm going to because I don't know if that'll make the whole flower pop a little bit more. We'll see. And then um, because I liked the Bermuda Bay color of the sunglasses, I decided to use dark Bermuda Bay to color in the flower um, just to kind of coordinate a little bit. So that's all that we're doing for coloring on this little guy. So I'm going to bring it closer. How cute is that though within just a couple minutes? All right, let me get this back up and loaded at a better angle for you guys without making it too rocky or bumpy there. So now we can do a little bit more of assembling. We've kind of got that. And I think the next thing now that I need to do is run all these dies through because that's what's going to make this card just become adorable. Like I said, I had so much fun uh, making it all come together. So let's start with a little scrap here of Bermuda Bay. And then because these sunglasses are just kind of so intricate, I already have a piece of adhesive um, sheet on the back so that when we peel it off, it's just sticky where it needs to be. So I'm gonna put that on there. And then you guys, um, do you ever see a die and you go, gosh, I wonder what that's supposed to be. I think this is supposed to be a flower, but I thought it made the cutest little anchor. We have a boat, that's kind of what our anchor looks like. So I'm like, you know what? It's gonna be an anchor today. So I have this little die here and just gonna put it on the tiniest little piece of white cardstock. And now we've got the boat, and I love how the boat not only cuts, but it gives you a couple grooves to make it look like the ship flap there. And then, um, now all of these so far in the hippo have been from the free hippo dies um, that are free with celebration, just called hippo dies. I always like to show you that in case my, um, my speech isn't totally clear. But what I also pulled out today is the painted labels dies. I wanted to get um, this sentiment in something that was maybe like a punch, but um, I just didn't want to do just any punch. And then as I was looking through my dies, I'm like, oh, I love how it kind of just looks like um, not really a cloud, not really, you know, like a sunburst or anything like that. Um, so I thought this was like the perfect die set. So the painted labels dies has this fun thing. Thank you, Rachel. I have been having a lot of fun with this stuff. Okay, so I just am grabbing, here we go, another uh, scrap of white. And so there you can see, you can just use up all those little scrap pieces that everyone has laying around and clean them up at the same time, right? I wish my house cleaned up as fast as I clean up scrap sometimes. <laughs> so I just run this through and then we have all of these pieces. So what I think I want to do first is show you kind of how I um, came up with the anchor and the boat together. So just gonna grab these two pieces first and show you how to do that. Um, so I have some linen thread here and I'm just gonna cut off. You just need a tiny little snip of the linen thread like so. And then I'm gonna grab my glue dots and I'm just gonna press one glue dot here into that little white die cut. And then I'm going to take the other one and just kind of put that in the corner of the boat so it's right there. And then it's just a matter of connecting the two. So that I can just kind of press, whoops, right into there, into that glue dot. And then I'm going to just kind of lay that down and then connect that to the glue dot on my little anchor piece like so. So we have that. And then I flip that over and that's gonna just stay like that, sticky like that. And if you want, you can always take um, and just kind of pick off another glue dot. If your linen thread seems like, you know, it just needs sticky on top of the thread, um, you can go ahead and do that. And then I'm just gonna take some dimensionals and put a couple on top of 
the bolt like that or on the back side like that and now this is ready to build onto this 3d embossed splatter piece here so i'm just gonna put that down in the corner like so and then have the bolt sit like this and now i'm going to take a couple dimensionals on my cute hippo and just put those towards kind of the top um not all the way to the bottom because he's just or she either way it's just going to kind of get tucked into the boat like so and so now the hippo is in the boat and popped up like that and then i'm just going to take my oh where's my oh it's still on my <laughs> it's still on my um my cut and emboss machine this little piece here i don't want to get too carried away i haven't done my stamping on there so the sentiment ah oh, you're really the best comes from that Hippest Hippo stamp set. So I'm just going to ink that up in black ink. Center that right inside there. And that fits that perfectly. Just like sized like it was meant to be. So let me get a couple um, dimensionals for that. And then I'm just going to kind of tuck that at an angle behind the Hippo. And now this whole piece I um, just turn over and I'm going to add... Um, dimensionals um, on each corner. I kind of think I can avoid the middle because a lot of the middle has like the boat and the hippo popped up already. So this will just kind of take these edges and pop that up to kind of give it a little pop and dimension from the background and just make it look a little bit more finished that way. So we can set to that on here. And then I still have the cute little sunglasses here from my die cuts um, to peel off. So let me just take that and you can tell with the adhesive sheet that kind of stayed behind. Sometimes when I just press that on my finger, that stays and then the other um, is good to use. Sometimes it likes to stick longer to my fingers than I want. Now these cute sunglasses are all sticky all the way around from the adhesive and then we've got those to go with the cute hippo look, looking like it's enjoying the sun. So to add an accessory, I just thought, oh, there's so much going on. I almost left it just like so. But then when I went through my accessories and saw the solid faceted gems, I'm like, hey, there's some pool party gems here. Um, lots of nice blues and greens and pinks in this solid faceted gems package. So this is a really good um, package. And if you see, I don't know if my light hits this in the camera, but I was noticing when I put it on my sample card, um, they kind of look matte finish, but yet there's something in there that's sparkly here and there that kind of catches um, the light too. So that's kind of fun. I'm just going to take one of the larger size. So for each of the colors, there's large and small sizes. And I'm just going to take a smaller one and a smaller one and just kind of uh, frame that around there just to add a little bit of an accessory and for the inside um, when I go back to my hippest hippo stamp set um, oh you're really the best like if Deb and everybody ordering from her party wants to make this like really usable I'm like love you a ton well that's really cute and it it's so perfect with the hippo but not everybody might like that you're so hip that's kind of fun too but I thought okay oh you're really the best that could almost be like a thank you you could actually make it into a birthday card so for everyone I am just taking a totally blank um piece of inside basic white cut four by five and a quarter and I'm gonna leave that blank and put it in there and I know you guys are like she never just leaves it blank or rarely now just watch the next three cards will be all blank but um, I just thought that was um, uh, the best way um, to make it the most versatile by leaving it completely blank in the inside so and because I put a lot of details into all the dies and stuff you're probably just glad that I'm not doing one more step in the inside to keep going <laughs> um, so there you have it this is Deb King's um, card number three for her virtual party 
and she's going to be keeping her party open um, for the next month. So that'll still give you time to order if you want to. But keep in mind, celebration products like the Hippo Stamps and the Hippo Dyes could sell out. So if you're thinking of ordering and just know you want to order, sooner would be better. And then I just keep letting Deb know as people order um, who's ordered and what her party's at and such. And then um, you've seen all three of her cards now, all very different looking. And uh, as a thank you from Deb and I, you'll get the three cards that I've uh, created here on her demos um, as a thank you from her and I for ordering through her party when you use her host code. And if you forget, you can call Stampin' Up, have them add the host code or reach out to me. Um, and if you need help ordering, I can help you with that too. Thank you, Kay. And uh, tomorrow, my other uh, hostess, virtual hostess, Kay Keelblock, uh, she wants to wrap up her party tomorrow. So uh, let me know, or if you need to order through that, uh, I just want to reach out and let you know that that party will be closing tomorrow. And like I said, Deb's uh, here will be open for another month. So that's all I have for this week for inspiration, but I'll be back next week, probably Tuesday with another card just coming from me. But just know if you're uh, considering being a hostess, now is a great time to be hostess because it's celebration. Uh, you get a a little extra um, stamp set for hosting um, during celebration and I, I do have time in my schedule for that so if that's something that you're interested in please let me know and I can get some ideas crafted together for you just like I have my other hostesses so take care have a great long weekend bye bye